Today we are going to try to spray paint a Christmas tree. Never done this before, but we've got $20 in this tree. It's brand new. And we've got some paint from our local hardware store and some glitter as well. We're gonna spray over that. We're going for a, it's been snowed on, but not like a load of snow uh, so that we can put it outside of our church doors and kind of give it a Christmassy feel. But I imagine we're going to start by adjusting these limbs and making sure that it's full in the way we want it to be. So let's get to doing that. So we picked up paint from our local hardware store, which is Ace Hardware, and we're using the paint and primer in one white of course and uh, using gloss enamel started to get flat may regret that don't know we're gonna see how this goes and then some glitter to finish it off after it's all said and done to kind of maybe give it a sparkle so let's jump in and get painted So there's one can of spray paint and I think it's gonna be enough. I thought it may take two, but I think I'm pretty happy with one. I guess depends on what you're going for. But in this case, we have $20 in the tree. Uh, we bought it on Facebook from someone that was brand new, but it's only a six foot tree, so it's not very big, but it took one can and uh, pretty happy with it. We're gonna be uh, making boxes to go around the bottom of it. Uh, this is gonna be sitting outside the front door of our church. You'll see that. Uh, but at this point, I believe we're going to try to put some of this glitter on there and uh, see what that does to it. So let's check that out. So here's what I used. One can of spray paint and one entire can of glitter because glitter makes the world better. And I think it turned out really well. Keep in mind, this is going outside of our church. And so it may flake. I'll keep you posted if you're interested in that. You let me know and I'll make sure to keep you posted on whether it flakes or not because for $30 basically between paint and $20 for the tree off Facebook, I think how can you go wrong? And uh, if it doesn't flake, then I think I'd be willing to try this inside sometime. But let's see how that goes. But as for now, it looks really good. Let me get a close up here and show you some of this glitter. So if you look closer, I mean, I can see the glitter with my eyes, but it's kind of hard to pick up on video, but um, it's not super heavy. I honestly think I would probably consider doing another can of it, but I definitely had to start with one. But either way, I still like it. And I think in the right light, that glitter will show up better. But uh, either way, I like what we've got. So now let's go put it in our boxes that we've made and see how it looks. So here we are at the front of the church. There's our tree and we made a box out of some scrap lumber that we had laying around, but it's just two by fours and one by fours is all that is. And it fits right down in there and uh, kind of hides that bottom part of the tree. It's not exactly the prettiest part of the tree, that metal. And so that makes it a little bit nicer. Matched it with the stain to this bench. We're gonna hang two new wreaths and some garland around the door and also put a tree in a box over here as well so that when you walk in the door, you are in the Christmas spirit. So there you go, 30 bucks for that. I think it's pretty good. It may end up flaking some, but so far so good. Uh, if you want me to keep you updated, I will be glad to do that because I think for 30 bucks, even if it only lasts one season, then hey, we'll upgrade and do something new next year. But I like it. And what if it does work? Then we may be in good shape for a few years to come. So either way, thanks for watching guys.